There are many ways you can make money in Elite Dangerous. However, making your first million is always the hardest part. In this beginner guide, I will show you how to make your first million. I created a brand new account just to make these tutorials so that we can both be on the same page. Let's get started. When you're starting out, you will only have a thousand credits to your name. At least that's how it is for the base game owners. So let's start from the bottom. We are going to do some trading to earn our first million credits. For that, we need a ship with more cargo space. We'll use the hauler for this job. So, our first goal is to earn 53k credits to buy the hauler and have about 80k credits more to buy the trading goods. In total, we need to save about 150,000 credits just to be on the safe side. To reach this goal, we'll do some courier and delivery missions. To accept missions, go to the missions board and then over in the transportation section you can find lots of courier and delivery missions. When accepting these missions, take note of the system and station you need to deliver those to. And when you reach there, use the mission board to complete the delivery. It's very easy. And, while you're taking those deliveries to other systems, be sure to haunt the system with your D-Scanner. And then use the FSS scanner to map the system. Press the 4 key on the keyboard to go to the ship menu and assign the D-Scanner to a mouse button in the fire group section. Then you can scan the system by clicking the assigned mouse button. To start the FSS scan, you can press the quotation marks key on the keyboard. Adjust the tuner to target different types of planets and scan them. These scans can be worth a lot. When you reach another far away system, you can sell them using the cartographics tab. Repeat this process until you have about 150 to 200 K credits. Now, let's go buy that ship. Hauler is a great little starter ship for hauling cargo. It's also great for many other tasks too. Don't worry about spending money. You will earn it back in no time. We're going to equip the hauler with even bigger cargo racks. And we'll also replace the FSD and thrusters to get better range. Now that our ship is fully equipped to haul cargo, let's find a good trade route. To find a good trade route, we will use the Inara website. Inara is a valuable tool every elite player should use. I will cover a tutorial on how to use it in a future video. First, go to the data tab and select trade routes. From here, customize the search filters by entering the name of your current system. Our ship has a short travel range so we will set the max route distance to 20 light years. Cargo capacity of our ship is 20, let's set that here. Set max price age to 16 hours. The prices shown on this website change with time. Setting this filter to a lower price age will increase our chances of getting the same profits shown on the website. There are other additional options to customize the search. They are optional so you can leave them as it is if you don't want to mess with it. If you don't have Odyssey DLC, set this option to no. 
When you click the search button, Inara will show you a list of trade routes you can take to make good profits. Browse this list until you find a good trade route with a commodity that you can afford and closest to your current system. On the left side panel, it shows you where to buy the commodity and how much of that commodity is available on that station. And on the right side, it shows which system you should go to sell that commodity and how much demand it has. If the demand is zero, don't worry the system will still buy it. Right below there, you can see how much it costs to buy the commodity and how much you can sell it for. Make sure you have enough credits to buy that commodity before heading over there. Copy the details for these target systems and stations. Be sure to bookmark this webpage while you're at it, because you will come back again. Let's get back to the game and go to that first system to buy the trading goods. Once you're there, go to the commodities market and fill your ship with the commodity that was shown on Inara. And then haul it all the way over to the target system to sell the goods. While we are on the way, I want to clarify that the trading routes and prices shown on Inara will be different each time you use it. So do not, and I repeat, do not follow the same route as I do in this video. You will have to find your own routes using the Inara website. I've had many complaints in a previous video for not clarifying this. Some people have lost a lot of credits because of that. And I don't want you to make the same mistake. And sometimes, you will not get exactly the same amounts of profit per trip. It will be slightly lower than what's shown on Inara. And it's up to you to do the calculations and find the best trade routes from the list of options Inara gives you. Use my instructions as a starting point. And study the Inara website further to fully understand how it works. That will allow you to make more efficient trade routes in the future. We're here. We made it to the target system. After safely landing the ship, go to the commodities market and switch over to the sell tab. Look for the commodity you're selling and sell it all. In our first trip, we've made over half a million. Not bad. Now, you can go back to the trade routes list on Inara and find the next route to do another run. And before you know it, you will have your first million. So, what's next? Now, you can buy an even bigger ship and keep doing trade runs and be a space trucker. Or you can get into mining, which is much more profitable and enjoyable. I have a video guide for making a mining ship for under 2 million credits. I'll leave the link in the description for you to check out. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see more tutorials like this.